Hi, I'm Art LeBeau, and you're watching The Mr. Duran Show. Same one I always watch. I do. It brings back those memories of El Monte. All right, here we are in the studios with the legendary Art LeBeau. How's it going, my friend? Oh, it's going great. Great to see you again, Likewise. Mr. Duran. Thank you so much for allowing us to come out here to visit with you. Are you kidding? It's a pleasure. You're my friend, you know. <laughs> We're friends. Right. What are friends for, right? Yeah, drop in and visit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. I hear a big, number one, big congratulations to you again on 50 years of Yeah, a little over 50, 52. 52 years, okay. You've been around a long time. I'm an oldie but goodie <laughs> you sure <are>. myself. <laughs> All right, let's go back and rewind a little bit here, okay? Right. How did it all start for you? Well, I was a radio engineer. Uh -huh. I was taking uh, radio engineering at Stanford University and, and near San Francisco, and I went over to KSAN in San Francisco and asked for a job. Uh -huh. I was, like, just barely 18. And uh, they said, um, well, we don't have any jobs, and uh, I'm sorry, but you're too young. You don't have the right voice, and... Uh, we're not going to be able to hire you, you know. We just don't think you fit. And he says, besides, you have to have an FCC license to work here. We have combo people. You have, you know, we're engineers and announcers. And I reached in my shirt, coat pocket, and I says, you mean one of these? And I laid out three FCC licenses <laughs> for him, <laughs> a first phone. And he said he got out of his chair, and he uh -huh. came over and put his arm around me and says, you're hired. And I says, Wait a minute, I thought you said, he says, no, you're hired. And I said, why? He says, because of that license I needed on my wall. He says, all my engineers have been gone into the service or, uh, or quit, and uh, I need that license, so you're hired. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what was uh, the next uh, station where you were? Well, at? I came back to L.A., which is okay. my home, okay. as, I, as you know. I, I went to high school here, and I, I was just in San Francisco uh, working. Uh, I was in the actually in the Navy at the time, working at Treasure Island. So that's what I was doing in, in San Francisco, and then and then I came back to L.A., which uh -huh. is where I'm from. What high school did you go to? <laughs> George Washington High, All right. South L.A. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So then from there you went into the military. Uh, no, I, no, I had been in the military. Oh, I came, came, to, came uh, to Los Angeles then uh, mm -hmm. and uh, tried to get a job here and uh, started getting a job. I got my first job in Palm Springs in Southern California. Mm -hmm. And I'm still on the air there, by the way, uh, but it's all changed, a different station. Really? And uh, there was uh, still there was no FM in 1956. Well, it was all AM. AM. All Remember? AM. Could you and uh, not much television either. Mm -hmm. So radio was... Uh, a whole different thing then. So that's how do you compare it today to the way it was back then, Art? The well, um, it, today it's more competitive. I mean, in those days in Los Angeles in the 50s, uh, there were like a dozen radio stations mm -hmm. that you could hear here, all AM stations. Mm -hmm. And now there's 80. You can hear 80 stations in Los Angeles. Jeez. And uh, uh, 50 of them are rated, you know, where you have ratings. And, you know, I'm right up there, so I'm, I'm blessed with that. My God. Art, um, now let's go to Memories of El Monte. Memories okay, of the, El Monte. The, the great El Monte Legion Stadium. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. When did that start? How did all that get going? In the 50s. I mean, I'm celebrating my actually uh -huh. 50th anniversary. But in the 50s, around 1957, I did my first show at El Monte Legion Stadium. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a big hit, and I used to play there, play El Monte one week, and then Anaheim the next week, then back to El Monte, then the Starlight, then back to then Burbank, then back to El Monte, then to San Bernardino, back to El Monte. Wow, man. So but you're still doing the more or less the same, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I, I was not in the concert business uh, for a long time, and then about, uh, I was uh, kind of, I was at KRLA for many years, most everybody knows exactly. me from there. And, and uh, then uh, I, I, uh, I got back in the concert business about six years ago. When, when did the actual, uh, the Omani uh, Legion uh, concert stop? Oh, uh, probably about 19, in the 60s, uh, early uh -huh. 60s. Uh, they actually tore it down and it turned it into a post office. Oh, Lord, it's a post yeah. office now, really? the Legion Stadium. Uh -huh. And that was right off on? Uh, well, uh, uh, on Santa Anita Avenue. Okay. What artists would you say that you saw actually grow from there, from the Armani Legion Stadium concert? Well, uh, from the L.A. area, people like uh, Bobby Day. Most people know he does Rock and Robin and... 
I had the number one song there. And uh, the Penguins, of course, they kind of got their start in through there as far as being doing any kind of shows. And uh, the Medallions, uh, Don Julian, the Larks, and, uh, uh, you know, Rosie and the original. Rosie did her first shows out there. Even um, uh, the Teddy Bears, Phil Spector did his first oh, shows out yeah. there. And, uh, you know, quite a few, really. Uh, Art, did you ever have the honor, the privilege to meet uh, Rick Nelson? I noticed we have him back here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a good friend. Uh, he used to come to my show when I did it at the drive-in over here in really? Hollywood. Oh. And he'd come every day after school. He went to Hollywood High. And he used to come when, you know, when he was very young. He was still 15, mm -hmm. 16, and 17. And then he made that song, Teenage Years Romance. Uh -huh. And I put that on the air, and all of a sudden he was a big, uh, you know, rock star. That's what, you know, right here, this is the man, ladies and gentlemen, that that opened the doors to so many artists out there. You oh. know, Art, it's so important that we did this interview because people know, but that we have a lot of young people out there that need to know the legacy, the everything you have uh, pounded the pavement for all these rock and rollers, for everything you have done. Well, we've done a lot, a lot there and given every, a few people a, a start. We've done uh, some Latin hip hop and got a few people started mm -hmm. doing that here lately. and. And, uh, you know, I play a little bit of everything on my show, you know. It's a request show. And like I always say on my program, we really do do your dedications. You sure? Talking about dedications now, yeah. okay. Right. Now, everybody calls in, um, Fayo calls in and dedicates to Faye. Hey, I, I do love you and all this. What is Art's favorite songs? I get asked that a lot. And, uh, you know, there's so many over the span of 50 years that I really... You know, they just come floating through my head, so I can't really give you one. It's just like uh, if if somebody, if you have ten children and somebody says, "Which is your Which, favorite?" You, yeah, and you say, "Well, I like them all for different reasons." <laughs> so uh, you know, I'm uh, kind of sidestepping there, but that's the honest truth. I really don't have any one favorite, and sometimes they change from year to year. You uh, know, or from five years or ten years later, you have a, a new song that comes out that's that's. You know, the, like today's hits are tomorrow's oldies. Exactly. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff that, that uh, songs like Heat Wave, Always and Forever. Now, that's a 1980s song, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody loves that. It's probably my most requested love song now. Mm -hmm. But I still get requests for Earth Angel, and I still get requests for yeah. Jesse Belvin, Guess Who, and yeah, exactly. things like that. And I like to have that variety, you know. So that's why, you know, in the ratings uh, that I have here in L.A. and all over the stations I'm on, uh, I, I'm popular in the various age yeah, categories, yeah, anywhere from, from uh, you know, 15 all the way up to 60. All right, now tell us about uh, this concert that's coming up, these uh, few concerts you got coming up now. Yeah, we have one big one coming up on September 13th. That's a Saturday night, and it's going to be at the Glen Helen Pavilion, which is in Glen Helen Park, most everybody knows. And this is my sixth year there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really an uh, uh, exciting place to play. They've changed the name of it now. It's called San Manuel Amphitheater. Okay. But it's the same place. It's in Glen Helen Park. And uh, I know you're going to be there. You're going to be my guest. Definitely will We're going to have you get up and say hello to everybody because everybody you. knows you. And Thank you. It'll be uh, you know, a pleasure to have you and, oh. and uh, all your people. Well, you know, Art, we, we, we give us a website again, a radio. Well, my, my radio station here in Los Angeles is Hot 92.3, and I'm on 7 to midnight every night except Saturday, and uh, it includes Sunday. So I'm at work every night, you know. Every night. So you just got, for the last, what, uh, three years, you've only had Saturday off? Or only have Saturday off. That's it. <laughs> hey, uh, being on the radio isn't work to me. You know, I love it. I'm I'm a radio junkie. You know, sure I, I love being on. Well, thank you so much, Art, and congratulations again on 52 years, mi gente. 52 years of serving our community, of of uh, just being a role model and inspiration well, to all of us. Well, Bless you. your heart. Thank you, Mr. Duran. Richard, to me. We yeah. love you, my friend. We love you. We we really too. adore you, and. Um, I'll tell you what, could you blow him a big old kiss out there? All your I'll friends? do that. No, I'm glad you're listening to the Art LeBeau Show every Monday through Friday, and then again Just on like Sunday. A Here's a big kiss for you. That somehow came true And I know tomorrow Will still be the same Cause we've got a life